Okay, so happy Thursday. Uh, we'll be continuing on with, um, we started last week, right? I think it was last week we started, last Thursday. Twitch 1, Test 1 and 2, these are two games I'm playing offline. Um, they could switch into streaming potential, maybe. Um, test 1 is uh, the Ryloth or Mind Flayers, basically, all underwater type stuff, except for when you have amphibian armies. Uh, test 2 is... Um, what I just started this one yesterday or the day before. It's a race, is it? Um, I forget the name of the race, but they are um, basically angels. <laughs> so kind of the opposite of what we're doing today, um, which is undead stuff. Oh, look, there's the end of our last turn. So what is this? This is, we're playing uh, Aramore, which is uh, basically the undead empire type stuff. And our leader is currently, where is he? Down here. Gimpy. Gimpy the Draco Lich. Sorry, Gimpy the Dark Lord the Draco Lich. When I created this character, I forgot that they put little titles at the end of it so it looks a little goofy, but that's what it is. Anyway, he's a Draco Lich, and uh, originally he was supposed to be a Lich, but I screwed up and uh, wasn't paying attention when I created the, the faction that we were using, and um, I was looking at the Lich and the Draco Lich, and apparently I had it on the Draco Lich when I created it, meaning to go back to Lich. But not a big deal because the Draco Lich can actually transform back and forth between Lich and Draco Lich. So, it's an even title change, the Master Lich. What's the difference between the Dragon and the Lich? Um, dragons fly. Uh, dragons have a breath weapon. They don't use magic as well. Um, so that's why you'd want to switch back and forth between them. Um, and other stuff. I mean, minor things for the most part as far as this goes. Well, it's not really minor. Draco Liches are still considered undead. And let's see, that's the important part. And these, the leadership doesn't really change. Uh, these stats, I think, do change. But not a big deal. Death Magic is up to level 10. Uh, research Ability 28. And, of course, he's blessed. Stuff. Oh, he's a poor amphibian. Is that all undead are poor amphibians? No. Unfortunately, not all undead are amphibians. Be nice if they were. Inanimate. Anyway, so. So as uh, on being undead, Numbers are, you know, basically zombie hordes are the thing. Um, our different provinces, they basically produce um, undead every turn for the most part. Um, looks like we've cleaned this one out, though, or they just don't have anything currently. Re patrolling, researching, reanimate. Re so our priests can reanimate the dead, basically turning either fresh corpses or long dead corpses into zombies or skeletons appropriately. And how much they bring back each turn is dependent on their priest level, basically, or priest skill, whatever you want to call it. Of course, all the undead, all the uni undead units, uh, different types. Um, we've got the, the long dead skeletons that come as, you know, cavalry, uh, infantry, no archers. Um, different types of, basically, it's different types of infantry. Like these are the these are the long dead. These are skeleton troops. What's and then there's zombie troops. And what's the difference? Um, the main difference is regular zombies. That's a. Oh, these are soulless. So regular zombies are this, right? They're basically freshly dead. Sometimes they come back as. You know, no gear, basically, they just have their fists. But sometimes they do come back with gear. Not in these, these armies, though. Oh, look at all the ones at the top here. So many undead. So many undead. Heavy infantry. Oh, these are regular human troops. They're, they're very confused on what their purpose in life is. It's, maybe they'll find out the hard way. Um, oh man, that's a lot of troops. Zombies, zombies, zombies. 
So this uh, general can only control 100 units, so on so 115. What kind of troops are these? These are the long dead Velites. So now the tricky part would be able to find them up in this mass of units up here, which is not going to happen. We need another general up here to clean them out. These are ghouls. Can't we find any ghouls up here? I'm sure there's some ghouls up here, but again, there's just so many. We need, we need a couple of generals just to clean everything out up here. But anyway, so there's that. Um, you guys are moving down that way. We're patrolling to keep the place safe. Um, what's this blue line mean? I don't know what the blue line means. The blue dotted line. I know the yellow one means they can move to those areas, but I don't know what the blue one means. Does that mean they can't move there because it's water? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I should probably read the manual. If four commanders group together and I can't figure out how to ungroup them, I must be click something that group them. To yes, I know exactly what you did. In this case. So, see, like this? Is this what you mean? You click on them and get all of them? I'm guessing that's what you mean. And how did you do that? Well, the easiest way to undo it is to select the one you want to ungroup. Hold down your, your control key, click. Want them back in? Same thing. Control key down, click. That, and then you can also... I'm just undoing... Oops doing all of them. Now if you hold down one and then you shift, left click on the other one. So it's basically selecting type stuff as in Windows does. If you want to do an individual one, you know, outside of an order, hold down your control key, click as you need to. If you want to select all of them, you know, go to the top and then reverse it, shift and left click on the end of the list. You're all set. So it's just control and shift. You can pick them out that way too. You've been out for 20 minutes. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> You're not the first person. <laughs> You're not the first person. <laughs> it took me a little while to realize, to remember it too, because I had been just going in here to go, okay, I want this, I just want this guy, I want these two guys to go over here, you know, down to this area, right? And I would click on them individually and send them. And I go, I go there's got to be a different way. It's got to be right away. And all of a sudden it clicked, control and shift, like that's going to work. And it did, so. Okay, you're defending this area. So he's got nothing but uh, long dead skin crappy skeletons here. It's basically spear and armor. Needs a broadsword and armor. So the skeleton, well, sometimes the, the zombies come up this way too. Depends on, you know, who's died recently. It's zombies. You guys go there. You guys go down here. So, Malagos, you are, he's got some room, so we're going to send him over to Yurik Balcor and go pick up some of those troops. Death Jest. Anything to pick up here? Oh, look at all the stuff you can pick up. Oh, and as far as undead go... They have uh, mindless and not mindless. They don't like each other. So you can't mix mindless with minds. Ghouls have, as you can see, are not mindless, but they aren't dead. And what's the real difference between them? What's the difference between mindless and mind and not mindless? Mindless, as you can see, are undisciplined. You can't basically give them any orders. You can tell them where to start, and then they just go when combat starts. Oh, and a reminder, this game is turn-based strategy as you can see overworld once combat starts it is 
completely automated. Um, you get to do some minor scripting, that being given them battle orders. In this case, we want these guys to attack, and actually, no, we want them to hold and closest enemy. So these are our ghouls. And generally what, what we do when we have zombies in the army is the zombies, because they're undisciplined, they do what they want to do. So just let them go, <laughs> right? So which it gives you a chance for your other troops that are not mindless to give them some actual commands to do. In this case, we want these ghouls to hold a turn. And the reason for that is to let the zombies get ahead and, you know, do what they do. And that way the ghouls can, you know, either come up into that same pack behind them or we can put them off to the side and... Once combat starts, the enemies, they start out over here, right? To the right. And so they march to each other. And then these guys, because they're holding their turn. Once, uh, you know, because once eh, we figure they we will just say in theory, um, the zombies will meet up with the other army sometime around this line here somewhere, approximately. And say, so, because they're holding a turn, they're going to be a little bit behind. So they will, you know, won't get over here until hopefully they're engaged and you know kind of a little minor flanking thing now i wish we could tell them to go okay march forward you know 50 yards and then hang a left type deal but that's not a thing so that's way it is and you don't have any battle orders you must be a new guy i can tell you to stay behind your troops because if this guy dies but we still win the fight the army goes away because these type of troops require undead leadership do not require any supplies, do not risk, and use can be commanded by undead commanders or mages skilled in death, but in undead beings are also immune. So, but they're supposed to die. The hands of a ghoul are transformed into claws. Maybe, or maybe these ones don't. Maybe, the, maybe they don't die. They do not rot, rot unless their master is killed. The soulless are mindless and are quickly dissolve if left without leadership. So it's the mindless that dissolve. The ghouls won't die if we lose our commander, but the, everybody else up here will. Yep. Mindless troops go away if their, their leadership dies. So that's why we want him to hang back as far as possible. In this case, we picked up all that stuff. So there's some more troops up there. Oh, he's already going down here. I think he's going to support them. Because we have multiple armies out here. Let's see. Look, more zombies. Cool. Cool. Like I said, undead horde. It's, it's a thing. It's how this this faction is basically played because there's no there's no consideration for food or upkeep because undead troops um the downside to that is their undead troops are not that great <laughs> other than the ones that you can summon that's a different story but the ones that you recruit just from you know just natural things happening they're not very uh they're not exceptional their exceptionality is in their numbers not their quality So what are we doing? So we're pillaging, pillaging, pillaging. We'll have you guys. Just to clean up some of the unrest, maybe. We'll see. We need more priests out here. So what's our situation? So we have, for as far as the world set up, it's wraparound from east to west, but not north to south. And that's why the map looks the way it does. And we have uh, four or five enemies at the Hall of Fame. Pretenders of the world. So these are everybody currently playing. So five AI and me. Those guys, they're apprehensive. We're not at war with them yet, but those are the ones on our border. Looks like they could be conflicting, conflicting with each other. We don't know, but not too bad. Oh, so he's actually in the water too. Isn't he special? And what we're trying to do is take these territories before they push too far more into our... I'm oh, sorry, the yellow line is the extent of our dominion. Dominion being the force of our 
uh, worshippers, basically, or control the its dominion. <laughs> it's how how much our influence is uh, going across the world type stuff. And, of course, the, the object of the game is to become a god. Currently, we are considered a pretender god, just like the other uh, leaders. So this is Gimpy and Frown's defend. Oh, I was screwing with everything here. Um, there's corpses. So Gimpy. We already searched for magic sites, construct a building. How much money do we have? We have 600, so we could build a building here, which we built here. So we have fortification, laboratory, and temple. Can we upgrade that? Build a fortress. Let's build a fortress. This is so. This is our capital, Airmore. Uh, Uric Balcor is kind of like a little side area where we can have more stuff being, you know, created like all those. <laughs> Are they full? You're not full. You should be full. But this is ghouls. Oh, you can lead two armies though. Zombies. Zombies. So these are all the soulless, more zombies here. So 61 ghouls and a bunch of zombies. You guys, it's always hold an attack. Go rear monks just to be different there. Down there. You guys up there. Now, because they're going after the back, we don't actually need them to hold. So we'll just go straight out attack. So what they'll do is they will so zombies right there. This is showing all the armies currently in the area. But anyway, zombies, they charge right in. These guys will charge right to the back as far back as they can go to the most rearmost enemy forces and attack them that way. So that you're full, you're full. Oh, you're human though. He's a human leader. He can't lead the undead unless. What can we do to you? How can we change that? I don't think we can cur currently make him undead. I don't think we have a spell for that. So, ritual spell. Revive. 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 So, reanimation. This is just to summon skeletons. So, I don't want to do that. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we have a spell yet to... Uh... What would that be? I have no idea what where... If we could turn people in living into undead, what we would we think that spell type of spell would it be? Rouse hunger. Oh, that's for making province action. Curses uh, about forty beings in the faraway province with undeath. More for skilled man's victims will become ghouls that serve their ne necromancer. That's fun. So that's sort of like that. Enfeeble and vulnerability during life? No. Soul Vortex, Skeletal Legion, and Darkness. Soul Vortex. Close number will have its life force drained from him. The life force will be... Okay, so that's a good one. Bone Grinding. The horrible grinding. All units on the battlefield fall to the ground as their bones crack and break. <laughs> Death Magic. Disintegrate. Utter Dark. The world is covered in by a blanket of blood, utter darkness. All living beings must 
use torches to see uh, even a few feet in front of themselves during this perpetual night. Forces of darkness and roaming shades will attack enemy provinces. Income and, and resources will be reduced by a lot. Caves and deep sea seas are exempt from the income reduction. All battles are fought under darkness. Demons, blind beings, and beings with spirit sight or perfect dark vision are unaffected. That's fine. So, not an alteration spell that I'm looking for. Enchantment? I don't think it'd be enchantment. It says reanimation, though. It might be. By king. We get a revenant. That's a summoning spell. I want to convert a living creature as a, one of our leaders into. Okay. Chance his own body to protect himself from death. Well, he's already a lich, so that doesn't count. Or skeletons, pale riders. Reanimate arch. Oh, archers. We don't actually have any archers from the undead. Ziz, we need to pick up wind or air for this. That rod it creates an eagle, an undead eagle. This is a dead rotting great eagle. Memorial Legion, an entire legion of dead soldiers. Nice. I made 15 death gems for that one. Ghost ship armada. What's this? Cause admiral attack random coastal provinces controlled by your enemies and plunder it in gold. Oh, nice. So we don't actually have to do anything. Can buy it then life and death. Gives all friendly units a second chance to live. An affected unit that dies will rise again as a mindless soulless being and continue to fight. Ritual rebirth. Previous slain hero via the ancient ritual rebirth. The ritual mummifies the dead hero before bringing him him or her back to life. Only great heroes from the Hall of Fame can be resurrected by this ritual. The ritual can be performed multiple times on a single hero. Inanimate and undead beings are not affected by the spell. So that's like they have to die first and then we bring them back. How far? That's level 7. Enchantment. Does that require anything else? Nope. So, enchantment seven. Long way to go. We need more ritual or research stuff. Okay, so, you guys. He's moving over there, pick up troops. You're patrolling, you're researching, right now. you're animating. Oh, Fenny. Is Fenny here today? If you would like to have one of these uh, commanders named after you, use your acorns. At the bottom of your chat window, see the little squirrel picture with numbers next to it. It's how many acorns you currently have. Click on the squirrel. Choose a name generator, I believe it is. And um, you too can be one of these commanders. Just not Fenny or Gimpy. Because nobody else is currently named. So if you're feeling lucky, that's what you want to do. But Fenny. Fenny is our... The Dusk Elder. Fenny is a Dusk Elder. Which is a mage, basically, an undead mage. Currently skilled with fire, astral, ma ma astral magic, and death magic. So what can Fenny actually do for us as far as... Need more generals. Been a while since you got you killed. Okay, Tiger. Who would you like to be, I guess? How, how many crystals do we have here? 38. What can we do for a master? Anybody? Okay. Um, yeah, we'll put you down with Gimpy's group. Oh, wait. Some of these guys we can't name because they're too good. Um, don't have a preference? Okay. I think Plague Soul is. Plague Soul the Sensor. Oh, we can name you. Ty 
Tiger Six the sensor. There we go. So now the trick is we have to get you some magic items if we can. If we have any extra, we do not. So that will be Fanny's job to make some, maybe some decent magic items. Marauder, Leper King, Dusk Dagger. What's a uh, so Bane Blade? You don't have one of those yet. Two Handed Sword or Doom Glaive. Small area curse and decay. Truly really fearsome weapon used by some undead warriors. Those close to where it strikes will be cursed for the rest of their lives, but those lives may be short lived because the victims may age and die within minutes. Don't damage defense. Length of three. But a bane blade. Cut from the bane blade. Uh, will fester and rot within moments. Blame beds are often used by servants of the king of the underworld. 10 damage. That's the decay. Defense 3, attack 2. Two to in better length. Or. Rod of the Scepter King. Doesn't do a lot of damage. The more the undead will gain the ability of those previously unable to do so, unfortunately, the wearer will become diseased unless undead himself. Well, actually, yeah. It's better off to do the get the, the regular Bane Sword, make a shield, and go from there. Oh, look at all the ones he can do. Because different magic. But we'll keep the bane blade. Or his armor goes. Black plate. Oh, that's a trinket. Fire plate. Cannot forge because we don't have the fire stones. Chance of ring mail. Uh oh. Tomar, thank you very much for the raid. Again, appreciate it. Happy Thursday. Okay, so protection body 17. Incredible strength and durability. It's not as heavy as a full plate armor. So anyway, 17 versus 13. So this is better. Let's make one of those. And we'll see what we have left over after the turn's over, after next turn. Okay, so that's that. You guys, pillage, 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 and patrol. Why are we pillaging our own stuff for the money? <laughs> because it creates, it kills people, which creates corpses, and it also gets us some more gold, which we need. Nobody seems to be moving. Keep be screw. Defend, defend, defend. That's right, we screwed up here. Searched. Can't construct a building because we don't have any money. Maybe he attacks the rear. Oh, that's only in dragon form. Once we're in lich form, we want him to do different stuff like cast a specific spell. In this case, uh, Doesn't really matter for any of this stuff, I don't think. So just have him cast spells. Cast spells from behind and go nuts. Oh, he's way over here, too. We want Gimpy in there behind the, un the zombie horde. Tiger's job is currently to stay behind the troops because uh, we don't want him to die it's too soon. He's actually in the wrong spot, too. He should be up here behind his own troops. So up there. Those are those guys. These are these guys. That works. 
Hey, Tomar, thank you very much for the raid. Happy Thursday. Good stream? Okay. So in this place, we have corpses. Unrest is an issue, so we will do some uh, patrolling. I can reanimate because of a priesty type person. Um, let's do horseman. Tiger. Do some pillaging. Pillaging two and you. Pillage. So again, pillage, create corpses, kill people, get money. That's how that works. I think we're good. Six commanders have nothing to do. Fine. So we're looking for anybody who's defending. Gimpy is defending. Pillage. So much pillaging. Plague Soul. Currently defending. Not reanimate. Here. Oh, look at the army he can lead. Skeletons go in with the zombies because they're mindless, sort of, kind of. There. Oh, those are his bodyguards. So the nice thing about bodyguards is uh, they don't count towards uh, penalties for having too many troops in, or too many groups of troops. Because that's what these first set of numbers is. This represents how many, basically, you know, regiments or divisions, whatever you want to call them, how many individual armies you can have without a penalty to morale. Undead always have a penalty to morale because I think that's a mixed troop thing, right? That's what's going on there. But these are all the same. So it's just being because they're undead. But anyway, ghouls. Knack. Like Soul's just doing spells. Yeah, Raiders still so got his stuff, so we're set there. Okay, so Plague Soul is reanimating. So Soulless again, zombies, long dead warrior skeletons, horsemen, we don't have any in this army. Ghouls, Soulless. Ooh, skeletons. The long dead usually come back with gear. Not the best gear, just gear. That. So who's next? Defend, defend, defend. Freightborn. Oh, this is our human guy. So this is actually the guy we want him to actually do stuff. Lead his troops into battle and, you know, hopefully die. <laughs> after he becomes a great hero. And then after he dies and we have that spell ready to go, we can bring him back to life. As an undead hero. That's the plan. So in that case, I need more troops to help him out. This is not the place to be recruiting people, apparently. Because this has something to do with them. Um, because we are favor, you know, undeath and all that other fun stuff, our provinces aren't the best for recruiting living troops because it requires resources. And oh, plus we don't have a lot of gold. But, but even that. 
see this how they're faded out there. So that's our recruitment points. Not a lot. No, no, we don't have gold. Eh, we'll just wait. We're not in a rush. So, your job is to... Patrol. But we need money. So, patrol. We need a lot more money. So, is it good enough? Trade commanders are still not doing anything. So, looking for people that are defending. Defending means they're not doing anything. So, these guys... Ah, oh, look. Things to be led. Oh, there's our human archers. Oh, we should have that guy come over here and grab them. Ghouls. Skeletons. Oh, which ones are you? You are ghouls. Ghouls. You get the ghouls. Get the, the zombies and stuff just to fill up the army. Undisciplined, but zombie horde. Ghouls, you guys come in a little bit later. His battle orders. Stay behind the troops. Don't die. Stay behind the troops. Don't die. Good. Good. Oh, but they're still defending. But there's no more troops really to really grab, so it's over here. Few more. Okay, so there's some stuff up here. So I'll have you guys go there, and then I'll go just go along this area, collecting the the undead as they go. Not that they're not undead themselves. The Mound Kings; these are all undead, undead leaders. They just come up randomly. They just they they just rise from the ground to serve us. And our scout, our scout, where did it's again? So, one of my beefs with the UI is scouts. Scouts you can't find. They don't show up in this list unless they change it with the newest update. They did not. So, commander, scout the black servant. There's no way to find them that I'm aware of. Nope, 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 nope. Because there's no way, there's no unit list, as far as I know. So let's read messages, send messages, nation review, score graphs, Hall of Fame, pretenders of the world, research, global enchantments, magic item treasury, magic item overview. Drones of Ascension stuff. The realms beneath, we haven't been down there yet. Hmm. Fanny revived a spectator. Fuckers from there. So no fighting this turn, which is okay. But again, I have no way of finding my scout scout units. They don't show up anywhere other than you have to find them on the map. We're looking for this little triangle with an eye inside of it. There it is. So basically the Illuminati eye. You have to find that. It's the only way you know the scout, that that's where your, your, your uh, scouts are. It's the only way is that icon. 
They need to change that. <laughs> they need to add them to the list up here. A nation overview. For whatever reason, they don't show up here. But anyway, turns over. Okay, unexpected event. And the surround forest. Charismatic creatures appeared, carrying the word of a rival pretender who now has dominion of the land. Dominion change. So where's this? Oh, it's inside of our borders. I wish our gold up to 2400 We need a lot more money. Misconception of falsehoods are spreading and get jammer. Dominion reduced by one. A sneaking enemy was discovered by patrolling units and shortly uh, after we attacked with our forces and jammer. Forces of the independence. Oh, look, the false prophet died. We lost a knight. To these losers. So this is combat. Now combat is possible if you want. But these guys made the wrong decision. The little heretics. Then goes our cavalry up there. Oh, that's how he killed them. So he got smashed. Run right away. So Gibby's in there somewhere, I think. I think. Maybe. Was Gibby in there? Forces of air more. I guess not. Oh yeah, there's Gimpy. No. That's is that Gimpy? That's not Gimpy. Where did that come from? Gammer, Jammer. But it is Gimpy. He's the only Lich here. I wonder why it didn't identify him by name. Odd. Anyway. So that was a fight. Pillage, pillage, pillage. Ten people killed. Some gold. No problem. Okay, so again, we have we need more money. So we want to take all these provinces before they start advancing. So we're going to go up this way. Pillaging here, lots of corpses. More zombies and skeletons. Oh, Catgear's in here too. Forgot about that. Lord Katger, the Bane. There's a Bane blade, full helmet, chainmail. He's fine. Cool. So Katger's actually got a decent sized forest, doesn't he? He's got the biggest army right now in this group. Spirit, are you one in? Okay. Who do you want to be? Want to be um, melee, general, mage, priest? Mage or priest, not mage priest. But you can make a mage priest. We just, oh, I think we have one. A mage? Okay. My Fenny up here. Uh, let's see. 
This guy I think is the good one. Nine death. Yeah, he's a good one. Seems safe. It's mostly safe, yeah. Spirit or the Dusk Elder. So you're kind of like Fenny. You're both Dusk Elders. Now we have to see. Can we get... He's not next to a laboratory, so we can't get him stuff. What about can't get her. Can't, we can't get magic items and stuff because we don't have a little chain of laboratories going out here. We can only get them up to, I think, the bright lands. We have to take this place first, though. Don't worry about that after. Trolling. Look at all the zombies. Troops, so I'll set there. You guys, more zombies, more skeletons. Actually, that was ghouls, wasn't it? Yep. See, ghouls don't want to be with the mindless, and the mindless don't want to be with the ghouls, but they're fine. We're just going that way, unless we already have two people there, or two armies here. There's a good bunch. So, you guys. I'll pick up some of these. Probably most of them, it looks like. It's full. Let's go ahead and go down to. 80 units there, 50 units there. How many? He's got 100, though, right? Just under 100, so I bet he can take them. Archers, militias, and light infantries against a small zombie horde. We'll change these guys to enemy archers. But no hold. Straight out charge in and do that. Hopefully they get there in time. Spread them out a little bit. Death jest, you lead the zombies over there. Don't get shot. Let's we'll see how this hat goes. I'm sure it'll be fine. Pillaging, pillaging, pillaging. No unrest because probably no people left. There's no population. <laughs> population over here is dead. Not even undead rising from the ground. What's going on? Okay, see so you guys. The Gentle Plains. Owned by independents. We don't know how many troops are here. We don't know how many are here either. Guess we'll have to find out. Hmm. 
Sigh and let him stay or let him go. Let's bring him. No, stop that. You're going this no, that way. Oh, the mountains are blocking us. Fine. Go that way first. Hey, Cactor, welcome back. So much domain, of course. You have to head out. Oh, thank you, Vegan. Thanks for watching. I'll be going on for another, oh, five hours or so at least. Yeah, at least five more, five more hours today. Just kill the mountain? I wish I could. Okay, Vegan. Thank you. So I can use my yeah, army consists of many archers, that's okay. Keep your friends going there. These are moving, picking up forces as we go. A lot of ghouls. These guys just uh, attack rearmost. It'll take them a while to get there, but they might get there. Your job is to stay behind the troops. Working hard today again, obviously. Was there any ever question that you were weren't working hard? These guys don't have any battle orders. Mm. More skeletal horses. Zombies. Zombies. How many? He can lead only a hundred troops. No, he's not a hundred. Orders. They're, they're reinforcements, so we don't really care. Uh, Red Venator. Red Venator? Rev Venator. Catch up with Gimpy and friends. Oh, you're not full. You're not full either. Okay, where are the ghouls? Ghouls, you go. Not there. Why not? Oh, those are bodyguards. That's why. So you get your own group. So these are legionnaires, long dead legionnaires. Those are principes. I guess you could have different mixtures in there, I guess. It doesn't really matter. They're all basically kind of the same. It's only the gear that's different. Oh, they do have javelins. That's fine. Spirit, you were working hard this morning. Can't don't can't recommend. Yes. Hey, zombie, welcome back. Happy Thursday. Oh, he's full. The legionnaires. So these are the. I don't want to say crappy skeleton. Well, they are the the crappier skeletons. They don't have. It's typically good stuff, but put them in their own little group so we can see what they are.
Oh, the long spears. Fire closest. That'll work. Okay. Oh, you don't guys have any battle orders. Um, you should be... Hold an attack. Those are zombies. There's their zombie. A mass of zombies. Oh, that they're, eh, I don't know if they're going to be sticking with this group or not. I haven't decided yet. So ghouls, your job is going to be attack archers. Fire closest. Actually, let's do. All right now. Fire and keep distance. We don't want him to do that. Fire. Closest enemy. These guys have javelins, so that's what they're doing. The fire, too. Just say, screw it. Just go running into them. The spearmen, they don't have javelins, so they get to charge in with the long spear, I guess. Golden attack. Yeah, it'll work. Attack rear most. Good. That'll work. Okay, you guys. Um, try building a fortress here. Or, yeah, making things better. So you actually go down that way. That'll work. Okay, um, it's just all cavalry and some letter. special units in there. It is time to take a break. Go stretch your legs. Your next break is in one hour. We need a, somebody just to come up here and just take all this stuff away. I don't even know how many are up there. So many. So many. Glastos is defending. What are you supposed to be doing here? Research. Or reanimate. Let's do research. We need to work on our research a little bit more. So many. Oh, we're, we were making magic items. Okay, make that. A black laurel. The black laurel is... Lictor summoning bonus three. Twisted black leaves with black. Command the lictors of um, Amor. We will remember the ancients. Three additional lictors are summoned with a spell. Revive lictor. The spell is only useful to the ashen empire of Amor. What's the cost? Ten gems. We have 46, so... Yes. Spirit or I don't do this now, I'm going to forget to do this. So, magic item overview. Because this is what we currently have. So, we have black steel plate. Oh, we have multiple skull talismans up there. The Bane blade, champion skull. 
Oh, that's right. Increases their wisdom. Let's despair doors here. See if this works. That. So basically, we gave uh, despair door this. No, oh, the miss the champion skull. So it's supposed to give him more experience every day, I guess. I don't know how it, how well it works, but we'll see. Maybe. Is there any way even to tell? Yes, they do level up. Experience is there. So we currently have seven. A seasoned warrior in no time. Oh, experience is three per month. It's not horrible. Just sitting here, just doing research. Or should we forge another item? I need to make different stuff. Crown of lead. A simple enchantment to make it repel hostile magics. It's a magic resistance one. I oh, can't make those. Enchanted shield, black steel, tower shield. Can't be used by mounted units. This is going to be probably going to Tiger, who is not mounted, so that'll work. This is four mounted units. There. Control stuff. Okay, anyway, let me take a break. Get up, stretch my legs, get some water, go see what Mrs. Gimpy's up to, and I'll be back in a few minutes. So thank you all very much for watching. We'll be back shortly. Enjoy the dog video.